Yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. And um, today's video is gonna be slightly different. We're not gonna be taking the i8 today. We're gonna be cleaning the Corvette. So honestly, which car would you prefer? I mean, I know a lot of people might say the BMW i8, but don't get me wrong, the Corvette is a very nice car. So uh, it's been parked right here ever since I bought this car. So I'm about to do a cold start, so it's gonna be pretty loud. Let's see. car just been parked right here so um i'm gonna just give it a good wash and then um yeah i'm probably gonna watch the i8 a little bit later or like at least tomorrow or something so i'll probably watch that tomorrow but for the most part for um the corvette i'm gonna give it a good wash it looks really dirty like i'll show you right now look that's how dirty it looks Low dirty. Super, super dirty. But the inside is clean. Because uh, the last time I was cleaning everything, I tried to take it to the car wash and there's too many people there. So I pretty much got the whole inside clean. It's just the outside looks terribly dirty. But real nasty. Like I feel embarrassed. Yeah, so once I'm done cleaning this car, I think I'm gonna take this one today. There's, it's pretty much just empty. Um, I don't really leave stuff in my cars actually, besides like the cleaning stuff. Just cause the last time I tried to clean it, I wasn't able to finish the job. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna sit until the car warms up cause it's been sitting for like four days. Yeah, it's been sitting about like four days. Um, yeah, what would y'all do? Would y'all rather, like, if y'all had to make a choice, would you keep the Corvette or would you keep the i8? You know, the i8 is electric. So all of this, you know, exhaust and being loud and all of that is not the same experience as driving the i8. The i8 is more, um, you know, it's a good looking car. So a lot of people are just like, looking at it but don't get me wrong like when i drive my corvette a lot of people watch this like they look at my car they'll literally record or sometimes even follow but not like to a certain extent because i'm always like looking around like i don't trust anybody in my surroundings and stuff like that but yeah um yeah a lot of people tend to record my car and then i pretty much you know you see all the other videos if you haven't and if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And um, just look at the old videos. You know, if you are new, there's some good old videos. And um, I try to do my best to entertain everyone. But for the most part, this car does have underglow. It does have, like, exhaust on it. And um, I'm kind of, like, nervous because there's police over there. But, I mean, they shouldn't mess with me because I'm not, I'm not doing anything. But I doubt they're going to say anything. I feel like they're just looking, but I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, and they're gonna be like, hey, your car. Well, I was like, well, if this one's too loud, I'll just take the quiet one. <laughs> is that a little flex or not? I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know, but God is good, man. I just want you to know I still love you. I know, you feel neglected. So I'm, I'm gonna drive you today. I drive you to work, don't worry, don't worry. I still have a good time with you. I really do. Yeah, I just, I don't want my car feeling neglected, you know what I mean? I feel like, I don't know if a car knows or not. You know, a car is not a living thing, but to me, my car is my family, you know what I mean? I've, I've been with this Corvette for, for a couple, you know, almost a couple years. Completely different feeling driving this car and the other one. Way more louder for sure. Alright, I'm at the gas station now and look, that's a Honda Type R right there. Cool. 
Yeah, guys, so it's definitely dirty. Like, oh my goodness. I know, I'm sorry. I just gotta dry the car now. I finished rinsing it. Woo. All right, I'm gonna dry the car over here. Right next to the I hate. Yeah, I kind of like doing this like drying the car over here just because um, there's too many people at the other place. And I don't like, you know, a lot of people tend to want to like walk up to you and talk to you. So I kind of like being low key about some stuff, you know? All right, guys, it's all clean, looking good. So I'm just going to reverse it, have it parked right next to the I-8. Dang. Nice, 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 nice. Woo, it's looking good, ain't it? Yep. Sorry that I neglected you a little bit and you weren't clean. And it's not completely your fault. It's my fault, not yours. But anyways, uh, I just want to say that, you know, my personal experience or opinion, if I would rather keep this one or this one, honestly, I'm a dad now, so. Because the Corvette is a two-seater, I'd probably get rid of the Corvette. I'd probably keep the i8 because the i8 have two seats in the back. Clearly, Prozea should be able to come with us everywhere. The car is, it looks nice and stuff too. So that's the only my opinion, but if I didn't have a, a, a kid or anything like that, then of course, that's the reason why I would keep the Corvette. But um, out of just out of these two. So I used to have a different car and that's why um, I got this Corvette, but I got rid of the other car and made room for something like this. All right, so that's my answer for today's video. Uh, I'm just gonna conclude it, but I just wanna say thank you for watching. You've been, you know, rock rocking with me for the start. You know, I am renting this one out, so I might give you a discount or something for my subscribers. And then of course I'm renting this one out as well. Both cars are a little bit different. This one's gonna have a hundred limit like mile limit and this one's going to be unlimited miles and just around los angeles or orange county and that's it so anyways stay tuned for our next video peace